a little bit of a heuristic, which is kind of a, a pathway or a pattern to follow that you want to practice. So when you get the question, what you want to do is remember the question, first of all, because that's important. You want to make sure you answer the right question. And oftentimes, a great way to remember it is to repeat it. So tell me about yourself. Oh, so telling me about myself, that sounds kind of weird, but oftentimes repeating it allows you to remember it better. Um, and then thinking about, is it a behavioral question? So is it a tell me about a time when, or in the situation when, uh, that's a behavioral question. And if it is, then you um, follow that share framework. If it's a case question, again, all those different frameworks, you gotta, you gotta remember that. Um, for those, unless you're going into kind of uh, management consulting or investment banking or something like that, you probably won't have them. Um, so they might give you an unstructured question. Right, uh, and then you kind of go through your your top three things, um, and then you make sure that you close and summarize it. Right, um, so if you follow this, you, you'll probably be able to answer um, ninety five percent of stuff. There's a few uh, other ones, um, but if you have any specific ones which you have encountered that you can't answer, then then let me know, and we can try to try to see if we can come up with with a way to do that. Um, and you want to make sure that you have questions to the interviewer. Right, you want to have questions, and oftentimes at the end of the interview, they will say, "And do you have any questions for me?" Right, and if the the worst thing you can do is say, "Nope, I'm good," <laughs> which often you'll be surprised that it happens all too much. Um, and what I recommend you to do is is create uh, what I call uh, sharing questions versus selfish questions. Right, selfish questions are about you. Uh, how much am I going to get paid? When do I start? How much vacation? Blah blah blah. It's all about benefiting you. Right, versus Sharing questions about uh, is 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 more learning, trying to learn more and, and getting in information out so that you can uh, be of help. So, um, what are some interesting projects that you're uh, working on? So they get to share some information uh, with you, right? And it's not all all about you, 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 right? Uh, at the very least, you want at minimum one question, which is, what are the next steps, and when can I hear back from you? When do I? When can I expect to hear back from you? Right? And that saves you from the, oh, it's been a week already. Should I call or not? Well, if they give you an answer. And sometimes they might ha not have a definite answer because they might be a hiring manager who doesn't know the exact process. But they'll probably approximate, well, you'll probably hear from us in about a week and about a month or whatever. Uh, and then now you have um, a, a, a rationale because you can say in your email or your callback, say, oh, in, in the interview, they mentioned that I might hear from you in a week, in, in a month. So I'm just following up to make sure um, if there's anything else that I could provide to you, right? So making sure you do that. Again, I recommend you have three questions, if not more, right? Because if you think about it, um, who sounds more interested in the job? The person that has zero questions, the person who has three questions, or the person who has 33 questions? Well, probably the 33 questions, but you're not gonna be that person to have uh, that many questions. So three is probably good enough. If you have five, you have 10, yeah, that, that, that's good too, um, but try to have uh, good questions uh, would be great. Uh, sometimes you want to make it personal for that person and say, can you describe a little bit about what has kept you in the job and what is the, your most, um, the thing that you love most about what you do, right? And that way you build a relationship with that person, right? And you get to learn a little bit, learn a little bit more about the culture because if that person doesn't like the job, <laughs> then maybe you don't want to uh, be there as well.